Corbett for the NXT Championship. Dragon Lee's back. Dom has been done dirty. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dragon Lee for the North American Championship. Plus, who will score the most pinfalls to be dubbed the Iron Survivor and become the number one contender for the NXT Championship and NXT Women's Championship? NXT Deadline Premium Live Event, live in Bridgeport, tonight, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Streaming exclusively on Peacock. Tonight. The Deadline, I can shape my future when I become the NXT Champion. You want NXT Championship match? You got it! Here you dragging off, Baron Corbin, for the NXT Championship. Dragon Lee's back! Dom has been done dirty! Dirty Dominic Mysterio, Dragon Lee, for the North American Championship. Plus, who will score the most pinfalls to be dubbed the Iron Survivor and become the number one contender for the NXT Championship and NXT Women's Championship? NXT Deadline Premium Live Event, live in Bridgeport, tonight, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Streaming exclusively on Peacock. Tonight. The deadline I can shape my future when I become the NXT champion. You want NXT championship match? You got it! Here you dragon off. Then. Woo! Now. Forever. Together. And now, WWE presents NXT Deadline Kickoff. Countdown to shut down. Hello, everybody, and welcome on into the NXT Deadline Kickoff Show. It is the final premium live event of 2023. Championships are on the line, and we have two Iron Survivor challenges from Bridgeport, Connecticut tonight. My name is Megan Morant, and I am joined by Matt Camp. You guys know him from WWE's The Bump, from Raw Talk, and the SmackDown Lowdown. Matt, how you doing? I'm doing quite well. By the way, I noticed on social media today that a certain man from Chicago, CM Punk, is in town tonight. Got to look at the new gym at HQ. And Shawn Michaels said, hey, let's skip that phone call. Why don't you come over to Bridgeport tonight, Sam? That's quite interesting, isn't it, Megan? The best in the world is in the state of Connecticut. So is NXT Deadline. So are we. And standing to my left, He's the last professional broadcaster, Sam Roberts. How you doing, Sam? I am doing so well. Leave it to Sean to start politicking early, getting <laughs> CM Punk in person, maybe. We'll see, but regardless, tonight we have matches that are guaranteed to be downright fights. We've got title matches, and those Iron Survivor challenges, those have the potential to completely reshape what the main event structure in NXT looks like. Absolutely. Well, you guys still have plenty of time to subscribe. You can catch all of the action from NXT Deadline right here on Peacock. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so yet because we have a lot of action coming your way. And earlier today, the champion, Ilya Dragunov, Whoa. there he is looking as fresh and as fierce as ever, <laughs> arriving title on his shoulder in Bridgeport, Connecticut. He gets set to take on this. This man, Baron Corbin, he's made this one a little bit personal now Ooh. between him and Ilya. Will he walk away with the NXT Championship? Let's take a look at all the action that is set to come tonight. Ilya Dragunov taking on Baron Corbin. Corbin out to prove that he is not only the most dangerous man in NXT, but also he is the best. It's Ilya Dragunov against Baron Corbin with the NXT Championship on the line. It will be the second ever Women's Iron Survivor Challenge match. Former NXT Women's Champion Tiffany Stratton, Lash Legend, Blair Davenport, Kalani Jordan, and Fallon Henley will battle to see who will become the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. You can't help but think that Lexus King has something up his sleeve. Do we find out what it is tonight when he battles the former NXT champion, Carmelo Hayes? 
Wesley suffered an injury that forced him out of the NXT North American Championship match, but Dirty Dominic Mysterio will still defend his title tonight against the man that Rey Mysterio said is the future of Lucha Libre. It's Dirty Dom against Dragon Lee for the North American title. And this one will not be pretty. They have not been able to keep their hands off each other. So we're going to lock them both inside a steel cage. Former NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez takes on Kiana James inside the steel tonight. Oh, I can feel your blood pumping. And I've got good news. You don't have to wait all the way to deadline because right here on the kickoff show, we've got Axiom versus Nathan Fraser. Five of the fiercest men in NXT. Trick Williams, Dijak, Josh Briggs, Braun Breaker, and Tyler Bate will meet in the Men's Iron Survivor Challenge. These men have all punched their ticket, but who will walk away? The Iron Survivor. And just more. Braun, deadline is finally here. There is Braun Breaker. That is a former NXT champion, a two-time NXT game champion. Day. Simple as that. I mean, you asked that same question to Trick Williams, shaking right now, because I've already beat Trick Williams. Tyler Bate, he's just happy to be here, man. I already know what he's about. Josh Briggs, it's a big night for him. But Cowboy better saddle up, because this isn't the rodeo, man. And DiJack, I guess that's the one everyone wants to see, right? Regardless, these four men are in trouble because they're facing the badass of WWE. All right, you guys, it is the Iron Survivor Challenge. Who will walk away the next Iron Survivor? And Matt, take a look at the rules. Let's look at the rules. That's a 25-minute time limit. The five superstars competing, of course, to become the number one contender. Two superstars will start the match, and every five minutes thereafter, a new superstar will enter until everyone is in the ring. Falls can be won at any time via pinfall, submission, or disqualification. And when a superstar scores a fall, they get a point. If a superstar loses a fall, they go into the penalty box for 90 seconds before they can re-enter the match. And the winner is who has the most falls, the most points. When the clock hits 25 minutes, they will be the Iron Survivor and challenge for the NXT Championship at NXT New Year's Evil. The stakes are set, and we will find out tonight who will be the next Iron Survivor. And uh, we know that Trick Williams is the fan favorite. He's been riding quite a bit of momentum. And Matt, we had him on the bump this week, and he said that he wants to get in there early and set the tone. What do you make of Trick Williams' strategy? Well, he's saying he wants to get in there early, and that's the whole thing. Do you want to be in early? Do you want to be one of those first two and say, I get all the chances to score the points, to score the falls? Do you want to be in later on? And Kind of take a breather, get in there a little bit fresher. The one thing I think about, though, Sam, is Trick Williams has the most on his plate coming into this match. This is the biggest match of his career, but he's thinking about Lexus King. He's thinking about Carmelo Hayes. His mind has to be right when you're stepping in there with four other men in such a unique matchup. That's a, a matchup that we've only ever seen twice. We can talk about strategies here, but... Even seasoned veterans have only seen this played out twice. Yeah, you would think that having more opportunities to score more pinfalls is going to give you the advantage, but if you get winded 15 minutes in, that's the iron part of this Survivor Challenge, you're now vulnerable to ending up in that penalty box, which is a spot that you do not want to be in. That's 90 seconds that you can't be scoring points. The thing about Trick Williams that I think is dangerous is that he's got potential that he's on the verge of realizing. But if he can't realize it, the NXT universe will lose faith. That's what Trick Williams is staring down the barrel of. Well, you take a look at this field, and there's uh, various levels of experience in the field, but I want to talk about Dijak, because Dijak Ooh. is somebody who has been tearing up premium live events. He is in this Iron Survivor Challenge, and it looks like he has the opportunity, to your point, Sam, to take that next step. Well, I think, that, I think the thing about Dijak is that he has torn it up every single opportunity that he's gotten at a premium live event. But he doesn't want to just be the guy who has great matches. He wants to be the guy that sits atop NXT. He doesn't like that we're talking about all these other superstars as potential future champions. He wants to be 
the man. And I think a motivated Dijak at a premium live event in this type of a match is a very dangerous thing. Well, speaking of Dijak, our own Kelly Kincaid caught up with Dijak backstage earlier today. Dijak, tonight here at Deadline, you have the opportunity to become the number one contender if you can outlast four of NXT's toughest competitors. Once again, I'm on the big stage of an NXT Premium Live event, and everyone has seen the unimaginable things that I do on the big stage. Tonight, I will be the Iron Survivor. And that means I'm gonna beat the dog crap out of Braun Breaker. I'm gonna smoke Tyler Bate. I'm gonna slap the country off of Josh Briggs. And I'm gonna whoop that Trick Williams. One by one, I'm going to hurt each and every one of them, just like Eddie Thorpe. Eddie's never been the same man since. And tonight, neither will they. Intensity is at an all-time high between these two women. They cannot keep their hands off of each other, and it's been going on for months. Kiana James against Roxanne Perez inside a steel cage. This is what happens when jealousy leads to animosity, and we'll see it all unfold tonight. Show you a fight! Days away from deadline, and things are out of control around here. You saw what happened in the trainer's room. If you're on deadline, I'm on deadline, Roxanne! You're Roxanne Perez and Kiana James cannot keep their hands off of each other. So it's official. This Saturday at deadline, Kiana and Roxanne will finally settle their differences in a steel cage match. Now, Kiana James has had it out for me since the day that we got signed together. Please welcome the NXT Women's Breakout Tournament participants, Roxanne Perez, Kiana James. And I know exactly why, because I won the breakout tournament and she didn't. Perez has made history tonight. Jealous of Roxanne? <laughs> no. But what I am is sick and tired of everyone around here giving her all the praise. Roxanne Perez, Women's Breakout Tournament winner. Roxanne Perez, Iron Survivor. Roxanne Perez, Women's Champion. Congratulations, Roxanne Perez. I want my woman's title back. And at Halloween Havoc, I'm taking it. You think I was gonna let Roxanne Perez get another chance to gain another championship? Roxanne Perez has been the golden child of NXT since the minute she walked to the door. Yeah. Ironically enough, the same day I walked through the doors of NXT. Did everyone just forget that I was in the Women's Breakout Tournament? I was also in the Iron Survivor Challenge. I even captured my own tag team gold. But where are my flowers? It is now my mission to make sure the entire world sees me above Roxanne Perez. Kiana James has been here, and it's about damn time you put some respect on my name. Hey, it's Kiana James! Roxanne isn't gonna win the Iron Survivor Challenge this year because she's not in it, courtesy of KJ. Kiana James came after me out of jealousy time after time after time. Hey, no, no. And I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I'm Kiana James. I'm an entrepreneur. I've built my reputation on deadlines. And tonight, I'll build my career on one. People try to underestimate me. But I think I've proven that that's a pretty bad choice. Everyone wants to talk about this edgy side of Roxanne Perez. We'll see how edgy Roxanne is when I throw her ass in a steel cage. Tonight, in a steel cage match, I'm going to end Kiana James. Yeah, we about to <laughs> Well, we
we have seen an edgy side of Roxanne Perez, but we have also seen a relentless side of Kiana James. She's taken it to the next level. It's jealousy turned into animosity. And Sam, I will start with you. This edginess that we've seen from Roxanne, can she be the one to um, really, what happens to her when she competes with the resilience that we've been seeing from Kiana James? Well, I, I think when you talk about the edginess of Roxanne Perez, that's done to combat Kiana James. Kiana James is the one that has dragged that out yes. of Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez is now playing Kiana James's game, and that's brilliant on the part of Kiana. I don't know that she's jealous. This is something that Roxanne Perez has said. She's not said, I'm jealous. She's recognized that Roxanne Perez has gotten opportunity after opportunity after opportunity since showing up in NXT. She's shown maybe a little favoritism by one of the color commentators on NXT. And Kiana James has scratched and clawed to get everything she's gotten. And when you look at how she performs in big matches now, there's nobody on the NXT roster that has improved the way she has from where she started. I love a cage match like this. I am so excited because the cage is not around the ring to make sure that the two don't escape each other. The cage is around the ring to make sure that they don't tear apart the entire city of Bridgeport while they tear apart each other. Because these two, they absolutely will, Matt. They don't like each other, and that's okay. Think about where they were this time last year. They were both in the first ever Women's Iron Survivor Challenge. Roxanne Perez won that match. I thought it was a breakout night for Kiana James. And now when we come back a year later, they're going against each other inside a steel cage. What happened during that time? Roxanne turned that into an NXT Women's Championship. Kiana James won tag team uh, title with someone she didn't even like in Fallon Henley. This is a night where their paths are crossing again leading into 2024, and maybe this is the superstar we're talking about a lot more as we move into 2024. It's the night for Kiana James. I'll say it right now. I think she gets the job done. Oh, Ooh, a bold take there. Well, elsewhere um, at NXT deadline, we will get to see Carmelo Hayes taking on Lexus King. The time for talking is over as Carmelo looks to silence Lexus King once and for all. Now, ever since King has arrived in NXT, he's been known to stir the pot. This is a story we have all been following very closely. Tweeted out from NXT Anonymous earlier this week. We see Trick Williams, he's, he's leaving the room and he seems very fired up and excited. Then Carmelo Hayes, he yeah. grabs his phone. He checked, though, Megan. Look, he looked back. And remember, we saw this on this past Tuesday. This was what was posted by NXT Anonymous a week ago. So it's kind of out of order here if you look. But there's Trick coming out of that room where Carmelo was as Carmelo goes to his phone. As you see in the foreground, Sam, oh, come there's on. Lexus King. There goes Trick. Watch what, what happens here. I'm just seeing what I see. Well, let's do a 10-part docu-series on Why it. Why not? Because it's all Peacock would love to have that. All right, well, obviously, lots to unpack as it relates to this footage that was leaked by NXT Anonymous. Uh, Whoever Sam, that is. Sam, you seem to think that this could all be a coincidence. Maybe the texts, uh, they line up, but they don't necessarily amount to much. Well, excuse me for being an American and believing innocent until proven guilty. These circumstances are not enough. What I'm intrigued by here is when we look at Lexus King versus Carmelo Hayes, Lexus King has orchestrated this. There is a plan here, and Lexus King has talked about it. He's not just stirring it up. There's a, there's a motive here. We just don't know what the motive is. I think it's attention. Lexus King walked into NXT talking to Carmelo Hayes, a long-reigning NXT champion, maybe the greatest North American champion we've ever seen, and a fast-rising superstar in Trick Williams. He just inserted himself right into that. What are we doing? We're talking about Alexis King, who is on deadline tonight, taking on the former NXT champion. He's doing exactly what we want. Whether he did the attack or not, it's already been a successful few weeks and I think already successful night for Alexis King, which could go over the top if he defeats Carmelo Hayes. I think that's right. And you look at the way, too. You look at the way Alexis King has, has manipulated the timing of all this, realizing that all Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes needed was a little push, a little timing of text messages for the whole thing to get spun up. Yeah, the timing uh, seems to amount, but it, it might be a little bit too close for me to fully be on the side of innocent until 
proven no. guilty. Uh, that's watch just, what I do around you, that's Megan. That's just my opinion. We still have lots more to get to on the kickoff show, including this matchup between Axiom and Nathan Frazier. These guys were set to go at it at NXT on Tuesday, but they were interrupted by a brawling group of women from the Iron Survivors Survivor Challenge. These men are getting ready now. There's Axiom focused, locked in, and ready. Obviously, he has lots of history with Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier looking ready to go. That match is later in the kickoff show. Look at what? This Monday, everybody has welcomed me back. Well, almost everybody. The can't miss controversial return continues as CM Punk decides if he will sign with Raw or SmackDown. Plus, the delusional, remorseless McIntyre has lost it. The Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre continues his vicious conquest against main event Jey Uso. And stories collide. Shinsuke, I don't respect you. As the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and the King of Strong Style Shinsuke Nakamura go one on one. You keep saying that we're the same. Prove it. Raw live this Monday, 8, 7 central, only on USA. to know exactly who Rhea Ripley is. And you're gonna learn to fear me. Rhea Ripley has made history the new NXT Women's Champion. This is my division now, and the nightmare is just beginning. Rhea Ripley, the Raw Women's Champion. How can you not be impressed by Rhea Ripley? No one stands in my way. You feel your heartbeat pumping. The Judgment Day, we're stronger than ever. You watch your breath. We run Monday Night Raw. The whole women's locker room, they're gonna be calling me mommy. The hottest thing in WWE right now is Rhea Bloody Ripley. It's time for complete and utter eradication. Rhea Ripley entering at number one. Rhea's going to WrestleMania! Rhea Ripley sets the record! She went wire to wire. After WrestleMania, you're going to learn to call me champion. Rhea Ripley's the SmackDown Women's Champion! That's one of the best matches I've ever witnessed. Don't rise for your champion, our champion. Rhea Ripley! I am the most dominant champion in the WWE. It's hard to see anyone knocking Rhea Ripley off the top of the perch. Mommy's always on top. Everybody knows who knows. Everybody knows. You can feel it in the air. Yeah, it's coming. Everybody knows. The Eradicator has provided unmatched dominance. My resume speaks for itself. It's your lack of It's your lack of It's your lack of You better crash crash. Who's gonna stop Rhea? The food chain has been toppled, and I stand above all. This is my division! You're lucky you're living in it! Shh. 
huge night for you guys. Josh Briggs, Fallon Henley. Tonight you compete in your first ever Iron Survivor yep. Challenge matches. How big are the nerves? Kelly, the nerves are at an all time high today. We got two big fights going down tonight, Kelly, and opportunities like this, they don't grow on trees. And tonight, I have the chance to become the number one contender for the NXT Championship. And I have the chance to become the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. That's right. We went over the strategy, what to do if you're behind on the scoreboard, how to fight to stay ahead. I am proud of Briggs and Fallon. Now, this Iron Survivor Challenge is no joke, but it'll all be worth it when that clock hits 25 minutes and we hear and new Iron Survivor Josh Briggs and Fallon Henley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck tonight. Thank, tonight. You. Thank you. <laughs> There it is, the Women's Iron Survivor Challenge takes place at NXT Deadline tonight. Kalani Jordan, Lash Legend, Tiffany Stratton, Blair Davenport, and Fallon Henley, who will walk out of Bridgeport, Connecticut as the Iron Survivor. And uh, gentlemen, obviously, we look at uh, this matchup, and Matt, obviously, a lot goes into an Iron Survivor Challenge match. 25 minute, limit, 25 minute time limit, five superstars competing to become the number one contender. Two superstars start the match every five minutes thereafter. We'll see a new superstar enter until everybody's in the ring. And the falls can be won at any time. We don't have to have all five in there. Pinfall, submission by DQ, and when a superstar scores a fall, they get a point. If you're on the wrong end of the fall, you go into the penalty box for 90 seconds before you get into the match, and the superstar scored the most falls when the clock hits 25 minutes is the Iron Survivor and will challenge for the NXT Women's Championship at NXT New Year's Evil. A lot on the line for these five women. So much on the line, and these five women haven't been able to keep their hands off of each other. We saw that happen on Tuesday night when a fight broke out during that Axiom matchup. But you look at this field. Tiffany Stratton, the former NXT Women's Champion. Kalani Jordan, the new up-and-comer. Lash Legend, we saw what oh. she did to Otis on Tuesday. And then there's Fallon Henley as well. But I have to ask you guys, is this... Tiffany Stratton's match to lose. I mean, she is the former NXT Women's Champion. She's the only one that could say that in this match. None of them have been in this match before, so there is that to note. Uh, I also want to bring up Blair Davenport, though, because she has been very dangerous. She was taking out NXT Women's Superstars left and right. And as we saw, Nikita Lyons didn't take so kindly to that in her return to NXT. But Blair Davenport, Sam, may have the right mindset for a match like this. Yeah, destroy as many members of the roster as you possibly can. That would definitely play to her advantage in the Iron Survivor Challenge. But you know who really has impressed me? Fallon Henley. Yes. If you look at what Fallon Henley did in that last cha chance challenge, she had a, one moment. She had a single moment to take advantage and get herself into this match, and that's what she took. It was one moment to get a three count, and she got it. To me, that ultimately is what this whole challenge is about. It's about staying back, getting your moments in, getting as many pinfalls as you can, and then trying to take as little damage as humanly possible. If Fallon Henley can find a couple of moments in this match like she found on Tuesday, she's going to find herself pretty far ahead on the leaderboard. Uh, I also like Kalani Jordan for that very reason. Got to the breakout finals. Obviously, Lola Weiss will be keeping a close eye on that. She's holding yeah. that yeah. contract. But when we think about New Year's Evil, maybe it's going to be Kalani Jordan. Maybe this is her chance to really break out in a much bigger way. I also think she has the kind of stamina that if she goes in one or two, she could be there at the end. And do you know, pointed do you, that out. Do you, know how mad, do you know how mad... Tiffany Stratton would be just even hearing this conversation. You know, she did gymnastics too. Did you know that? I, I, I've heard it brought up yes. before. She's a little more yes. gymnastics, yes. She, yes, <laughs> Tiffany yeah. did gymnastics as well. But um, we, we have to talk about Lash Legend too. The I mean, powerhouse in this matchup. What do you make of Lash Legend? I think she's incredible. I think that as uh, rated as she is, still underrated. And I think the idea of bringing more championship glory to metaphor is something that I think we could all benefit from. This could be Lash Legends night like it was for Kiana James yeah, last year. Absolutely. Where it was, well, what, what has she done so far? And then at the end of the night last year, we're going, wow, Kiana James, real good. Now she's in a steel cage match, became a tag team champion. Lash Legend has a lot of good mentors within metaphor, especially Noam Dar. But Lash Legend has the talent. And we saw that on display on Tuesday. Her getting into this match is such a spotlight on her. And I think Megan 
She loves that spotlight. She oh, yeah. wants that spotlight. She She's got it on her tonight. She absolutely does. Well, speaking of spotlights, all eyes will be on the NXT Championship. Oh. As NXT Champion Ilya Dragunov defends his title against Baron Corblin. Dragunov has had 30 years of sacrifice to get where he's at now. And Baron Corbin has made this one personal. Dragunov has done it! I promised to push this friend to the next level with a fire that only the mad dragon can blow. I'm very proud to be the NXT champion. I traveled home recently, and my son was holding this title for the very first time. He looked at me with pride in his father. This represents 30 years of sacrifice. I will turn this championship reign into a symbol of uncomparable passion. Incomparable passion? What the hell does that even mean? That's Baron Corbin! That man's rage, his anger, his phony intensity doesn't fool me. I'm the only man that has put Ilya down, and that scares him. He's ducking me. He's not given the guy who actually deserves a title shot a shot. Baron, you want an NXT Championship match so bad, huh? You got it! I'll see you at Deadline! Baron Corbin, with this title on my shoulder, I'm a different animal. Remember this. The only person who can slay the dragon is the dragon himself. Because I agree, Ilya. The life of a champion is lonely enough. Coming home to a cold, empty apartment, no one to share your day to day with. Ilya, you turned your back on your son. You walked out the door, you got on a plane, and you left. You only have one reason to be here and it's that title on your shoulder. And that just so happens to be the one thing I'm missing in my life. My life is better. I have generational wealth, expensive cars, and a big mansion. I kiss my wife and children every day and every night before going to bed. So at deadline, I'm taking that title from you and you will have nothing left. And me, I'll have everything. Baron, you brought my personal life into this. The sacrifices that I make for my son so he has a better life. That is a lie that you have crossed. Your body will pay for this. What you're doing to your son right now, well, that's exactly what your father did to you. You materialistic son of a bitch. the fire you think that scares me Ilya I have been through hell and back and I always find a way do it right now for your family you're a coward you'll find a way to stay the only one who can destroy the dragon is the dragon himself I am not so sure that the NXT universe is ready for Ilya Dragunov to unleash the dragon. I'm not sure Baron Corbin is ready. You see that intensity. You see that fire all building up within Ilya Dragunov. Sam, I'll start with you. What happens when he unleashes the dragon tonight? If he unleashes the dragon, Corbin's ready. I'm going to tell you what Ilya Dragunov did that he has never done before. After winning the NXT Championship, he showed vulnerability. The Lone Wolf is not some cute nickname. Baron Corbin is a predator. He's a hunter. He smelled that and he preyed on it immediately. We've never seen Ilya in this position where he's got this vulnerability that Baron Corbin is waving over his head. I think this is all advantage Corbin. The other thing about Baron Corbin that I think people don't realize, I was literally podcasting with him last night. Oh. 
And I was talking to him about the fact that in 24 hours, he's got to get into the ring with this guy who is notorious for hurting people, for hitting them hard. You know what Corbin said? Maybe I'm built differently, but I'm excited yeah. by that. And he's been in the ring with Ilya before. He has defeated Ilya to become number one contender before. But to the point of the vulnerability of Ilya Dragunov, I think that Corbin may have stepped too far because there's an intensity in Ilya Dragunov that has always existed. Go back to his days against Gunther for the NXT UK Championship. The last year he has spent battling to get to the NXT Championship. The trilogy of matches he's had with Carmelo Hayes. Intensity's always been there. Ask Dijak about that. But now he's talked about his family. The sacrifices that Ilya Dragunov has made haven't really been public. He talked about this on the bump with us, Megan, and I didn't know a lot of that. And he put that out there. So now that intensity goes up another notch. I don't know if Baron Corbin knows what he's unlocked. But to your point, Sam, he's been here before. He's had the spotlight on him longer. If there is somebody that's ready, it's Baron Corbin. Yeah, you see, I think I spend too much time with him because I'm like, oh my gosh, how is Baron go? What is Baron going to do when the dragon is unleashed? I'm spending way too much time with Matt Kim. I, I mean, I, I would have said but that I, regardless. But I hear yeah. exactly what you are saying. Well, we still have so much more kickoff to get to. We talk about intensity. The intensity was at an all-time high on Tuesday, just before Axiom and Nathan Frazier were going at it. The match was thrown out. Because of this, what we saw right here, the oh. rolling women oh of the gosh. Iron Survivor Challenge getting in the way. But don't worry, these two gentlemen will have a chance to settle the score tonight. We need a clear path for these two. We need security to take care of everything. Everybody that's all fired up about this match, stay in the back because Axiom and Nathan Frazier need to settle in the ring, and we get to see that right here on the kickoff. It's coming up next. Don't go anywhere. This season, WWE Shop brings you all the holiday flair. That flair and this flair. Deck out your holidays with everything WWE. There's no such thing as too much flair. Thanks, Charlotte. WWE Shop Holiday. Tonight only. Save up to 35% off select styles. for some action. Talking about action, you better get ready. You better buckle up, son. Oh, yes. Hey, Ben Frazier, focus. This, of course, a rematch from this past Tuesday. These two were competing, but couldn't find a winner. Couldn't get a decision because the women's Iron Survivor superstars yeah. interrupted the match. Both of these guys have been so talented. I mean, ult ultimate uh, as far as athletes go. We're going to see exactly who's going to come out on top tonight. No interference tonight. I can, I can promise you that, son. I'll make guarantees. <laughs> Superstar who jumps off the screen, and I had to think about it for a few days. Look, I mentioned the original match they had scheduled up for Tuesday on NXT. Do you buy into the entire gentleman's agreement that they agreed upon Tuesday night of friendly competition? I know you hate that phrase. <laughs> you know, uh, one thing I can't say about Nathan Fraser and Axon, these guys are gentlemen, and this is a gentleman's agreement. Nothing that these guys have done over this last 365 days make me suspicious. Let's just say that. They competed in a spirited best of three series last year, and it still has to bother Axiom 
No. He came up yeah. short in that. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, that's the so you think he no, liked no, losing? That's just, just the spirit of competition. You, you've heard the old saying that the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Someone must lose in combat. That's just the way it is. Now you can feel the energy from the NXT Universe still yeah, filing in well, right. for NXT deadline. Looking at Axum right now. I mean, he's in control right now, but he's very, very cautious at the same time, Victor. Well, Axiom sees Frazier uh, a change in demeanor, so to speak. Could be why he mocked Frazier for getting what he said he deserved oh, wow. against Ilya Dragunov. Dude, uh, one thing I, I look at both of these guys, uh, both, like I said, amazing um, athletes, extraordinary talent. Um, but but I wonder the keys to the victory in this matchup. Is it going to be, uh, you know, trying to last the test of time? Look at the quickness. Uh, quickness certainly is picking up both these superstars Beautiful. so elusive. Both these superstars so evasive. Both these superstars know each other so well. And Axiom oh, on wow. cue. Just catching, dropping, and now locking in a submission <laughs> on Nathan Frazier. Both of these guys, I mean. Oh, shoulders down, shoulders down. Similar styles because uh, I look at both of them. Uh, quick, uh, Matt, where wrestlers, both can go up top. Uh oh, backslide, shoulders down one more tonight. time. Oh, here. wow, so close. I'm glad you bring up the strategy, the style, so to speak, because when you really break it down, and we've talked about wow. it, Axiom more, has more of a methodical approach, and well, Frazier more has a... Uh, uh, a unique style that really doesn't have any system yeah, to it. He yeah. just flies by the seat of his pants. No, uh, both of these guys, you can put them underneath. Uh, whoa, 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 here we go. Didn't take long put for the first NXT uh, chant to break out tonight. Technology, speed, agile, right. mobile, versatile. Sometimes these guys can get real hostile. We're going to find out in a minute. Well, you use the word hostile because that is what Axiom's message was to Nathan Frazier several weeks ago, was that he was uh, talked a little bit too much about Ilya Dragunov. Wow. Take a look at the speed and the sudden impact from Nathan Frazier. Uh, I can tell you Axiom probably feels that way because he wants his piece of the action fix. Take another look. We talk about the speed. Bam! Well, there is the impact from Nathan Frazier. We talk about Ilya Dragunov. We talk about that temper. Can Dragunov control himself tonight like he did on Tuesday? Dragunov Corbin for the NXT title tonight here at Deadline. There'll be a lot of pressure on Dragon Lee tonight. Uh, just because oh, nice. he's got somebody going to be uh, perhaps watching over this thing. You know. You don't want that. You don't need that. Very true. And look at the, the eyes. This is what we're talking about with the demeanor of, of Nathan Frazier. Yeah, has Frazier developed a, an overly cocky attitude as of late? I mean, the chip has grown bigger. Oh, what wouldn't you say he won the Heritage I, Cup, I, I, the success of hard-hitting troops? I wouldn't call it uh, attitude or anything like that. But it's just something that you need in this business. You can't Into the cover goes Axiom, and it's still uh, not I, enough. I, I know Axiom, Nathan Frazier, these guys being close. They come from that part of the, part of the waters, but... You can't be friends in this business when it's all over with. We can sit down and have a cold one, but right now it's all about business, man. Axiom, of course, last year was in the Iron Survivor Challenge Wait. match here at Deadline. He's coming right back in. Oh, he's caught it ah, face first. That's what I'm talking about. Into that middle turnbuckle, of course, done at Deadline. Not one, but two, the men's and women's Iron Survivor Challenge matches. Six months ago, Nathan Fraser wouldn't have did something like that, but those are the, you know, I wouldn't even, Boom. I wouldn't call it a shortcut or anything like that. You just using the tools that you have. That's Nathan Fraser here tonight. It's hard to argue about two superstars who came across from many oh. different paths to come together, created such a friendship, which is you called it a spirited competition yeah. here tonight. But for Nathan Fraser, let's look at it differently than Book. Let's look at it differently. Is he then just misunderstood? Fraser? Yeah. Is he just misunderstood with some of his comments? Because you said that Ilya Dragunov took the comments Fraser made and blew him out of proportion. Big. Sometimes things, you know, move you to say certain things, and normally that's when it's real. Nathan Fraser right now is as real as I've seen him since I've been sitting at the desk. Oh, wow! That last chop ringing through the Total Mortgage Arena here in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and a snap suplex Beautiful floating snap. right over into the cover. Doesn't hook the leg, and Axiom able to kick out. I'm talking about that snap suplex right The there. eyes, the eyes. Did you see the eyes? Of That's what I mean. Bit. There seems to be a different it's look. It's a little bit different. It's a little cockiness there, a little chip on the shoulder. But like I say, Vic, it's about champagne wishes, man. It's about caviar Don't cream. use it too soon, no, 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 I, I, I get three of those a night. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. Looking for a submission. <laughs> The octopus locked it. Oh, look at the fist right into the ribs. Stretch in the midsection. 
making it hard to breathe. But look at Frazier finding his way. Oh, that was smart the right there by Nathan Frazier. Oh. Get his feet moving. Like I, say, like I say, stay on your bicycle, son. Well, Frazier not looking in a submission of his own. Here on Axiom again, these two superstars who know each other very well, almost a unique version of the Cobra Clutch. And that looks like Nathan Frazier just seemed like he's just trying to slow the process down here just a little bit. Which when we talk about it's it's not oh, beautiful, beautiful. of Nathan Frazier to take a match to the mat to take it to the ground and this might not work because Axiom was shoulders down nice change of a pace almost shifting the weight that's where Axiom might feel a little bit more comfortable up oh, over caught Axiom and dropped him good. into another cover good. look at the way what center of the ring and whoa, whoa. whoa I thought that was it man I thought it was over with Ooh, that was Close. No, that was a kill shot, Vic. Take that was another a kill look. look. Great velocity. job by our crew in the, the truck. Look at the velocity on this. Bam. All the pressure That's right there on the back of the Take neck. Take another look right here. And Axiom just able to get that right shoulder up again. What a way to kick off deadline here tonight in Connecticut. The final. WWE pay-per-view of the year and Nathan Frazier now taking it to Axiom turning that aggression up to an 11 and Axiom fighting right back look at the combination offense Axiom now looking beautiful drop kick pinpoint precision yes right on the snout man I haven't heard someone use snout like that before but oh a little half and half what about this one great Scott Bam! Doc Brown would be excited for this in a near fall for Nathan Frazier, or excuse me, for Axiom on Nathan Frazier, who was just I got able you to kick out. That was you did, you had me a little confused. I was back to the future for a second. Axiom, though, this matchup so back and forth, and you know, I, I said the unusual style of Nathan Frazier. Axiom doing a few things a little bit differently here tonight. Now, both of these guys, like I said, they, they, they're, bad guys, they're, they're hybrids. They're hybrids, Vic. They can pretty much do anything in the middle of the Oh, inside cradle! It's beautiful. Oh, wow, so close. Axiom right back up, another counter, and now trying to lock in another submission. Look at Frazier having it blocked, trying to break the hold, and certainly does try to hyperextend that elbow. Yeah, but. Axiom one step ahead. That's, that's the name of the game, Vic. You got to stay one step, maybe two ah! steps, sometimes even three steps ahead of that man. What is on the mind of Axiom oh, now? Oh, yes, I like it. Whatever it is. Axiom. Oh, a little extra oof on that forearm. That's, that, was, that was just taking it to the street. I thought he was getting ready to fly for a second, but just a, a regular old-fashioned form gets the trick done. Well, you wanted to see a little flying. Axiom looking for the moonsault. Got all of it. Yeah, but he came down hard on that right knee there, Vic. And Booker, this is the kickoff match. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm watching Axiom right now moving kind of gingerly a little bit on that, on that right knee, kind of spashed a little bit on it. We got a one or two for both these superstars who are so prideful to be left out of that Iron Survivor Challenge. Will Frazier oh, popping to the top. This. Superplex. Oh, Frazier God. holding on. Beautiful combination. Oh, with a oh, twist. God, man. That's gotta be it. it. Still a little left in the yeah, tank. The lack of days of who cover there, I think, was the linchpin for not getting the victory right there. Could be a pivotal point, Booker, in this matchup. You mentioned the cover. You not gotta, cinching the leg, no, no, not hooking gotta, the leg. You gotta shoot the half, man. You gotta hook the hook the leg. You, you gotta get, get in deep. Oh. Another gnarly takedown by Nathan Frazier. And now Frazier now going into his wheelhouse. We've seen this man love to fly. Moves like a blur. Stings like a cobra. All the way up Phoenix. Splash! Nobody home. Able to roll through. Axiom back to his feet. Catches what could have been a super kick. Swing and a miss. Axiom now. Waist lock. Not able to hold on. Frazier. Nice count. Oh! Man! Scouted, Vic. You could tell Nathan Fraser has seen that one before, man. You go back to that best of three series, Booker, they had a year ago. Did any of these superstars go back and watch some of those matches to remind themselves? Fraser. Oh! I don't know if that got him on the jaw or the midsection. Turnabout fair play, Vic. Axiom now, looking for the goal. Go, he got caught again! 
Another kick out of nowhere. Into the cover. Oh, man, I thought that was it. Beautiful cover, hook the leg, everything. But the resilience from this young man, Axiom. What does Nathan Frazier need to do tonight under the bright lights of a premium live event? The final one of the year for the WWE. It's deadline in Bridgeport. Frazier on Axiom popping back to his feet. We talked about elusive and evasive. How about resiliency about no, these no, guys? That was Axiom playing possum right there, Vic. Booker. That was the Booker. only trick in the book. Booker. What? Spanish fly! And Axiom now realizing this is his moment. Golden ratio connects. Got all of it. Frazier's out. Axiom. Victorious. What a match. Here is your winner, Axiom. Wow. <laughs> you can say that again, Book. What a way to kick off wow. NXT Follow that. deadline. Follow that. I remember Dusty told me one time after a match like this, they won't put you on first no more, man. Well, this was some of the action you're highlighting. This moonsault from Axiom Good laying God. it all on the line. And you mentioned the awkward landing for Axiom, which may have slowed him down and it opened the door for Nathan Frazier to hit this suplex and then this very unique high impact move to get into the cover. But again, the lackadaisical cover. It shocked Frazier that Axiom still had some left in the tank, which led to this Spanish wow. five. It wasn't wow. perfect, but it was certainly effective to crack open the door this time for Axiom who put all the pain behind him, bam, to hit that golden ratio and secure the victory here tonight at Deadline. And as you said, wow, what a match. And for these two superstars, Axiom and Frazier, who know each other so well, called it a gentleman's agreement leading into Tuesday night, the rematch here tonight. Somewhat of a sign, now we see it, a sign of sportsmanship like between these two great superstars. Roman Reigns, your undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion, stands at the apex of sports entertainment. On behalf of our reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns, I have the honor and the pleasure of presenting to you the Tribal Chief's Rules of Acknowledgement. You shall accept there is no competitor worthy of Roman Reigns. I'm in God mode. This is greatness on a different level. One must understand that Roman Reigns is a tribal chief of his word. I call my shot and I deliver every single time. Know in your heart that Roman Reigns will take what he wants, when he wants, and how he wants. This whole industry, this whole business, runs off of me. This is my show. This is mine. This is my camera. Expect those who dare challenge Roman Reigns to undeniably suffer the dire consequences. And most importantly, thou shalt not acknowledge any other tribal chief but the head of the table. New level, new level, go. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion. The tribal chief has done everything that you can do in this business. I'm the most experienced main event of all time. Nearly three years ago, your tribal chief reclaimed his universal championship. And as time passed, 
Roman's title reign has surpassed legends, icons, Hall of Famers. Roman Reigns, the longest reigning Universal Champion ever! The top of the mountain is mine! Beat them in and watch them all get slaughtered because this is my island! Who can stop, if anyone, the head of the table? Acknowledge me. The ultimate needle mover. It is God Mode himself. Watch out, quickly turn the page. He was in action last night on Friday Night Smackdown, but now he fills in for the injured Wes Lee, and he takes on Dirty Dominic Mysterio for the NXT North American Championship. This one has become personal, and Rey Mysterio will be in Dragon Lee's corner. We are four days away from Deadline. I was imagining, hearing, and new NXT North American Champion, Wes But unfortunately, it won't be happening like that. All of you cheered and supported week in and week out and gave me the strength to do things that I never imagined I could. That support won't help me right now. It won't bring back the feeling to my legs. And it will not eliminate the excruciating pain that I am in just by standing in the ring talking to right now. It's going to take surgery and time. Championship is kicking off NXT Deadline. Oh, oh, oh. It is just moments away. You can catch all the action on Peacock. If you haven't subscribed yet, there is still time to subscribe. Matt, you and I talked about this on the SmackDown Lowdown earlier today. Tall task for Dragon Lee, but this is really what he looks for. Turning that page, moving on, being in action, and how much does it help him to have the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio in his corner? He has the endorsement of the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio, which Dom doesn't care about at all. That's the one part of this. But remember, these two faced off in the North American Championship on Raw. Tough night for Dragon Lee there. Tough night, of course, as we saw on SmackDown. But he's been everywhere. Sam, if there's someone who's up to the challenge on short notice, it is indeed Dragon Lee. Tall task. You're talking about a guy who literally just walked into a title match on an NXT premium live event, okay? I can't wait until the star power of Dirty Dom shows up in Bridgeport and we all can cheer for our chicken tendy king. But there's one thing. If there's one thing that I hate in this beautiful world of sports entertainment, it's nepotism. Oh, jeez. And the fact of the matter is, the only reason Dragon Lee has a North American Championship opportunity is because he knows Rey Mysterio. Is because he's friends with Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio used nepotism 
to get Dragon Lee this opportunity, and it's on Dominic's plate once again. Nepotism? Uh, Dominic Mysterio is Rey Mysterio's son. It's not and nepotism if your dad's a deadbeat. Well, Wait. the reason that Dragon Lee is in this position is because he is the future of Lucha Libre. How do you know? What do you, Miss Cleo? Because we heard the Hall of Themer say it. Okay, well, Rey has said a lot You disagree of with Rey Mysterio? on the future of Lucha Libre. If you, Sam, do not think Rey Mysterio knows about the future of Lucha, Lucha Libre. Okay. All right, That's well, we have so much coming your way I'm at saying. NXT Deadline, including this matchup for the NXT Championship. Baron Corbin taking on Ilya Dragunov, unleashing the dragon. And this will determine who will face the NXT Women's Champion at New Year's Eve. It's the Women's Iron Survivor Challenge. Tiffany Stratton, Lash Legend, Kalani Jordan, Blair Davenport, and Fallon Henley. The men also tonight compete in an Iron Survivor Challenge match. One of these five superstars immediately becomes the number one contender to the NXT Championship. So much action coming your way, including Carmelo Hayes taking on Lexus King. The time for talking is over. Can Carmelo finally put Lexus King behind him? And it's in a steel cage. Roxanne Perez and Kiana James need to settle it. They'll do it tonight at deadline. <laughs> So much animosity, so much excitement, and it is all coming your way from Bridgeport, Connecticut. NXT Deadline starts now. Tonight. The deadline. I can shape my future when I become the NXT champion. You want an NXT championship match? You got it. Here you dragon off. Baron Corbin for the NXT Championship. Dragon Lee's back. Dom has been done dirty.